to start doing some stuff with Flex Seal. Um, one of the uses that I can think of for this is for boots around vent pipes. Um, sometimes what will happen is you'll get vents and the boot will crack. And I'm going to take you in close here and show you a boot in a second and show you what I'm talking about. So right here we have a boot. Now this one's actually in decent shape but it's got a slit on it. And if I get in there you can see there's actually a little bit of a void next to it. So snow could get up on this or water could run down this mast right here and go into um, the area below. So we want to seal that off. And this I think is actually going to be a good application for this because what this is going to do is it's going to go around and seal the bottom part of this. I'm going to show you what a good boot will look like here. Now the one we were looking at was a mast. This is actually just a vent pipe. And if you go down here, that boot's pretty solid. See how it's sealed all the way around? And that's what you look for if you're looking. A lot of times what you'll have is there'll be cracks or voids here as it starts to wear. Now the proper thing to do would be just to put a new um, boot over it. You have to kind of lift up the shingles a little bit and then you slide one down around it. Um, they actually have the whole flashing and everything, the kit that goes with it. but. Um, and, and a pinch, this is something that would work, or if it was just starting to rot out and you didn't want to mess with it, like it was in the fall or something, you just wanted to get it done, so you didn't have to worry about it in the winter, I think that's where something like this Flex Seal would come in really nice. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead, we're going to go over here and I'm going to seal up this one here, and then we'll keep an eye on this over the winter, and I'll, I'll let you guys know if I see it breaking down, but... Uh, I have a feeling this is going to work really nice here. So what we want to do um, with Flex Seal, you just want to make sure that we're being careful with ventilation. I'm outside, so it's not an issue. Um, you want to shake it really well so you can get a good mix in there. And then, um, you know, it, don't, don't be smoking when you're using this stuff. It, it, it's highly flammable. Um, I'm not sure if a cigarette would take it off or not, but I, why take a chance? You know, just no, no, no heat uh, igniters around this, no ignition sources. Um, and if you're going to do a large area, it says, uh, you know, like a thicker buildup. Don't, if you use more than half the can, let the first part dry before you use the second half of the can. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and shake this up, and we're going to go ahead and uh, get this in. Okay, so I did about a minute of mixing here, and uh, we're ready to go and pop the top. We're just going to spray a little bit down here. That's running a little bit, so what we probably want to do is have a rag up here if that doesn't start to congeal. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put on one coating, and you can see already that it's filled in the voids. It's very thick. It's actually holding itself really nice. It started a little bit of a run. Um, I just kind of feathered the spray as I did it, and it had a lot of control to it. Um, what you want to do when you're done with it, you'll turn it upside down like you did with your spray paint cans and, and shoot out a little bit, and it'll, it'll clear the nozzle for you so you can reuse the can. I'm just doing a test here to see how everything looks, but it's already filled all the voids in, and it looks like it's holding well. So that's just one application. We're gonna go ahead, let this sit for a bit. I'll pop back up here a little later and see if it needs a second application for that hole. But it really looks like one spray filled that void. It's setting up really nice and it's holding itself real good. So right now, pretty happy with the product.